Over the past few years, many video game protagonists have evolved to be multidimensional. They all have their purposes and motivations as to why they are doing what they are doing. Some protagonists go on a hero's journey to save the world, while others want to take revenge on someone who has done them or their family wrong. Some of them just want to redeem themselves, to make up for their past mistakes and be a better person for others. Whatever the motivation is, all of them are equally interesting and enticing to play. Sometimes, these video game protagonists are more interesting than the ones in films since the stories expand to 10, to 20, even to 50 hours or more. Notable examples include Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2, Joel from The Last of Us, Aloy from the Horizon series, Geralt from The Witcher games, Ezio from the Assassin's Creed franchise, Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series, Master Chief from Halo, Kratos from the God of War series, and many more. Looking at all of these amazing protagonists, I feel that Bayek of Siwa from Assassin's Creed Origins deserves to be on the same list. His character and legacy already make a case as to be considered one of the greatest video game characters in history. He is a badass magi warrior who founded the Assassin's Creed and has faced and defeated countless of enemies from legions of Egyptian, Greek and Roman soldiers to untouchable, powerful individuals in the order of ancients from the rules of cities to the great Roman army generals. Like his descendants, he has also single-handedly infiltrated army bases ranging from small camps to grand citadels to either rescue innocent citizens or assassinate the unjust people in power. He is also a loving father that has kept the memory of his late son in his heart in everything that he does, even when he is fulfilling his duty as a Magi. One of the most heartfelt acts he did in this regard is to scour the land of Egypt to look for the Stone Circle's constellations while remembering the conversations with his son, since that is one of their most precious bonding moments. I'm going to find every stone circle, the Sphinx and the pyramids too, and I'll find my place. But the most impressive part of his legacy is that he is a protector of the people of Egypt. He has helped countless of citizens whether be it Egyptian, Greek, or Roman, with all kinds of troubles. From helping someone to search for items that the average person cannot reach, to rescuing people from their predicaments, either domestic or something more dangerous, like trouble with the Ptolemaic army, to fighting injustices of the people in power to the common folk through the use of his sword, Bayek of Siwa has done it all. The philosophy of Bayek as a Magi is simple yet powerful. Protect the weak and the innocent and destroy those who prey on them, using the language of his sword. This philosophy of the sword is at the core of everything he does. Whenever someone is being mistreated with injustice by much more powerful people, Bayek is there to help. Like in Siwa, when his old blacksmith friend needed help because the military captain took his tools, Bayek went to the base to retrieve them. Even in a little bit more of a domestic matter, like in Yamu, where a husband was actually tricked into marrying his wife who was a bandit, Bayek helped him using his philosophy. In Alexandria, a poet philosopher was jailed because of his writings, wherein it was plagiarized by a member of the Order of Ancients, and Bayek rescued him and eliminated the soldiers along his way. There are countless of other times where Bayek has helped other people in need throughout Egypt. What I love about this is that he is always happy to help. It doesn't matter if you are an old woman looking for a specific item or an unsuccessful merchant who needs to escape his town to start a new life, or even just a kid who is amazed by Bayek's leap of faith and wants to see it again. Bayek is happy to oblige. His personality and character are perfect for being a Magi. There are also rare occasions where Bayek does not need to impose his philosophy of the sword in order to help people. But as I said, it is rare, since the land of Egypt during Bayek's time is brutal and chaotic. Most times, he can only count on his sword 
since the people he deals with are violent and don't listen. But in those rare times where he doesn't need to use his sword, that is where Baek shines the most. We must sacrifice our personal lives for the greater good. All this darkness was for a reason. Baek, other than being a Magi and protector, is also a father. He is just as serious and committed to his son as he is to the people of Egypt. However, the great and endless love that Baek shows for his son is unparalleled. The fatherly affection that Baek shows for him at the start of the game is one of the most genuine and heartfelt scenes I have seen in any video game. What I love about this is that after the incident, he carries the love and pain for his son on everything that he does throughout his journey all over Egypt. <laughs> I will treasure it. Goodbye, Ezio. Stay out of trouble. I can't promise, but I will try for you, Great Flea. I hope you get to hunt with your son again soon. So do I, Ezio. After Bayek lost his son, he started a path of vengeance that I thought would turn him into the complete opposite of a Magi. Amazingly, that is not the case. He was still friendly and empathetic towards other people and only reserved his just anger to those that deserve it. It is incredibly hard to function normally after dealing with such a great loss, but Bayek still manages to do it every day whilst fulfilling his duty as a Magi. He is an extraordinarily individual. Bayek's character is truly exceptional. He is not perfect, as no one is, and he does have his flaws. But those flaws enrich his character more and help us, the players, to understand his motivations, therefore establishing a connection that makes us empathize with him. Out of all his amazing characteristics, his greatest quality for me is his unwavering dedication to his role as a Magi, as a protector. Even when his heart is burning with vengeance for the loss of his son, he still accepted Cleopatra's offer to be her Magi the protector of the pharaoh and of Egypt. He went on to assassinate the other members of the Order of Ancients and eliminated the oppression and injustices that they had done all throughout the country. He could have said no and went on to investigate to find his son's killer on his own, but that is not what a hero does, for a true hero cannot ignore the suffering of so many people when they have the capacity to help them, and that is what Bayek did. Other than being a good man, he is also patient and compassionate. Even after the betrayal that he received from Cleopatra, his pharaoh, the one person who put him to this great task, which would have devastated anyone, he still continued to embrace his role as a Magi, even without the pharaoh's blessing, and went on to establish the Assassin's Creed, though at that time, they still called themselves the Hidden Ones. This is a legendary feat. And it is astounding to think that Bayek was still concerned about the people even after everything he went through. What we believe in, our values, our creed, will unify us. And I promise that for all the songs of Egypt, I will be the father I was not that day in Siwa. He still chose to see the silver lining, which is a great quality of any hero, making the best of a terrible situation. And as we all know, the establishment of this creed has helped countless of people in countless of civilizations after ancient Egypt. Bayek's greatest act, however, that cemented him as one of the best video game protagonists and also one of my favorites, is finally accepting his calling for a greater purpose, to serving the creed and the people even though if it means losing the love of his life to the same calling. Being a true hero requires sacrifice for the greater good, and Bayek willfully did so without regret. We sharpen our blades and pull what hope is left from this foul earth. In a period where there is an overabundance of video games with different kinds of gameplays, where the focus is not on the story and character development of the protagonist, which is not necessarily a bad thing, 
It is nice to see that there are still some rare gems like Bike of Siwa in Assassin's Creed Origins. A great character supported with an amazing voice actor and exceptional writing. He definitely belongs to the same group of incredible video game characters that takes the medium of storytelling to an entirely different level.